This tunnel is freaking loaded with fish. Any gators in here, back off. Oh yeah, look at all of them. What the, it looks like a stingray or something. You could catch a fish the size of you in there. This is a 24 hour challenge. Oh my God, I caught a fish. He's so tiny, I've never seen one like that. Come on, Arowana. Wait, there's a big fish in there, Helen. This is a literal monster. Oh my God. Oh, there's so many fish in there. Nation. Welcome back to another awesome video guys. Today we're coming back to a spot we haven't been to in a very long time that is filled with aquarium fish. We actually only been here one time before and you guys killed that video. We caught some crazy stuff and I, I think it's over a million views and for some reason I don't know why we just haven't been back and I think it's been like four to five months maybe and we're finally back doing the part two you guys have been waiting for. Basically it's just this little tiny creek right here that leads into the tunnels and then a bunch of sewers connect to it. So in this one little area there's like four different sewers that are filled with fish you can place your fish traps in there net in there last time we did that i'm pretty sure we caught gouramis african cichlids it's been a long time so i kind of forgot most of the fish we caught i know we did catch two designer placos though some really fancy ones so i'm hoping for those today and yeah i'm just really excited to be exploring more of this spot see what else is living in here we also caught a massive catfish we named butthead and he soon disappeared in one of my ponds so maybe we'll catch his brother today but yeah guys we got three fish traps with us today check it out we got this one right here this is the uh this is the old faithful right here this this one always works we always use this one and it always catches fish so we got this one to choose from we got this one which is our monster fish trap if we open it up you guys will see why we call it that look at this thing Ooh. if we catch anything in this it's gonna be massive so we brought this with us today because we know there's big fish here as well and then we got this one you guys haven't seen this one in a long time this is like the first ever pipe trap we made we don't use it as much anymore because you know what it's just not the best but i think it'd be really fun to try it again today and use it haven't used this one in a while and you guys really liked it so i actually have my girlfriend helen behind the camera we're doing a 1v1 today a fish trap 1v1 so helen i'm gonna give you first picks you get dibs you could pick which fish trap you want to use and then i'll pick the other one place your bets in the the comments down below guys helen go ahead and pick your fish trap and we'll get them baited up all right helen you got three fish traps to pick from which one are you going with well looking at them right now i can already see that this one is way too small for me i'm going for big mamas <laughs> this, this one isn't it helen's going for big mamas this one it's just not gonna cut it all right next one this one looks a lot bigger so it looks promising well the hole if you look at the hole you're not gonna catch a big mama in that the hole is really small Oh. Okay, <laughs> looks like we have a winner. Yeah, this is definitely the trap for you then. You're gonna catch a big one. Like, this is insane. Yeah, you could catch a fish the size of you in there. <laughs> All right, now you gotta get it baited up. You gotta, you gotta touch the nasty, juicy hot dogs. All right, guys, I'm baiting up Helen's fish trap now. She picked the biggest one because she's going for the biggest fish. I respect her, right? She's going big. Oh, we got these wieners here. All right, tell me when to stop. All right, say when, Helen. All right. Really? Uh, that's good. Maybe so, one more. Maybe one more. One more. Is that good enough for you, Helen? Is that, that enough looks bait? That perfect. So that leaves, oh, wow, that leaves me with two. That's all you need. <laughs> all right. You know what? That is all I need. I'll show you. I'll prove you wrong. You know, less is more, is what they say. So there's Helen's fish trap. She has quite a few hot dogs in there as bait. Now it is time for you to go place it. Oh my God, there's a big gar over there. Do you see that? Just watch your toes. You'll be fine. All right, you got your fish trap. Where are you thinking of placing this? I'm thinking right around there okay <laughs> looks good <laughs> what are you hoping to catch here all right little little pre 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 fish trap interview what are you hoping for arowana oh okay she's hoping for an arowana i mean we'll see now like i said we've only been here one time before so we don't really know what's in here possibilities are endless you know what hell you could catch an arowana it's not completely out of the possibilities i forgot to mention guys we are placing these fish traps for 24 hours this is a 24 hour challenge i'm gonna pick my fish trap right now and then i'm gonna actually walk down to the other tunnel down there way down at the end of the creek and i'm gonna place it there we've never fished over there time for me to pick a fish trap okay now since i always use this one i kind of want to switch it up just a little bit so i am going with this one our old pipe trap all right there they go <laughs> down the chute Time to walk down there, check it out. It's a far walk. All right guys, we're making our way down here to the hidden tunnel, but if you look right here, the creek is flowing with water right now. So I think after I place my fish trap, we're gonna net around a little bit just to get a little taste of what we could catch here. And hopefully we'll pull out something crazy. Check it out, we've made it to this new tunnel we've never been to before. And it's massive. I didn't realize how big it was from down there, but it's literally like the biggest tunnel I have ever seen. The water's crystal clear. And as soon as I walked up, a million fish just scattered into it. Like literally the most fish 
I've ever seen. I'm kind of tempted right now to net in there and see what they are. So I got a net here and then we're gonna go ahead and place my fish trap inside the tunnel. Oh yeah, look at all of them. I'm gonna try and snake attack them. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, I think it's just a mine. Lame old mine right there. We're not gonna keep him, we'll throw him back. Just one little scoop and we already caught fish, guys. Guys, I'm crawling through the tunnel right now, exploring it. It's super murky, very sketchy, but I do see a lot of fish. Check this out. Well, I guess you can't really check it out because the water's so dark. Look at that. Oh, it's so creepy. It's actually pretty deep too. It's maybe like a foot deep. All right, this is definitely the place to place my fish trap. I'm definitely gonna beat Helen. I think I'm gonna place it with the whole face in, in there because that's where all the fish are. We're gonna sink it with water. There it goes. Oh yeah, it's sinking. That's perfect. So it's all the way in the middle of the tunnel. It might float around in there, completely fine. All right guys, we've made our way a little up the creek. We're gonna start netting now. Me and the spot got unfinished business. We've only been here once and we caught really cool stuff. So I'm really excited to see what we get. Here we go, we're gonna fill up this bucket here. All right, so I'm just gonna start netting up in that. Lots of mud. Nothing in there. Oh, oh, there's a lot of fish right here. Whoa, there's so many fish. Oh, check this out. We got little baby mollies right there. Can you see that? Tons of little baby mollies. Oh, that's so cool. Nothing special though, just little mollies. We'll throw them back. Not what we're looking for. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, that's a nice little deep pocket. There's gotta be something in that. Bigger fish, look at that. There's a bigger fish right here. What is this? Oh, what the heck? That's like some sort of cichlid. Oh. I think it's a Texas cichlid. Oh, that's insane. A little Texas cichlid already off the bat. Just a little baby. All right, he's definitely going in the bucket. We're keeping him for sure. Let's keep going. That's a good sign. Oh, that was good. I saw a lot of fish right there. More mollies. Are you serious? Oh, look at that. There's a crawfish in there. You see him? Oh, he's actually really orange. Look, he's got little white on him, a little bit of red, especially on the claws. That's definitely some sort of morph. Now we know there's colorful crawfish in here as well. We'll keep our eye out for them. We're going to get him in the bucket though. He's pretty cool. All right, there he goes into the bucket. We got two keepers already, guys. We're mainly focused on the fish traps, but we're seeing if we could test our luck with the net and see if we can catch a thing. Let's keep going. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this fish. Okay, he just went into the weeds. That was a big white fish. Did you see him? Oh, wait, there's his head. He's poking out. All right, I'm going to try and net him. Oh my gosh, is that a molly? Kind of looks like an albino Oscar. Come on. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him in there. I don't know what that was. It's definitely some sort of, oh my God. Look at this jewel cichlid. That's beautiful. Can you see the colors on that? That is amazing. Whenever I catch a really nice jewel cichlid, I always want to catch him, but I just have nowhere to put them. So we'll throw him back. That's really cool. But there's something albino it looked like in here as well. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, I almost threw him back. Look at that, it's a giant molly. It's a giant molly, that is amazing. All right, we're starting to catch a lot of awesome fish, guys. We're gonna keep going, see what else we can pull out of here. The sun's going down, and then it's time to leave those traps for 24 hours. And there he goes, into the bucket. We're gonna net upstream a little bit here. Oh yeah, look at all these plants. That is just disgusting, that smells horrible as well. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Oh my God, did you see that move? I thought it was a stick. That scared the living daylights out of me. Check that out. That's an actual fish. Ew, what is that? Is that oh no, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Wait, he just, he just disappeared into the mud. What the heck was that? Hello, is that him? Oh yeah, that is him. I caught him. What the heck? It looks like a stingray or something. It kind of looks like a Farlowella catfish, if you guys know those, but I don't think that's it. I don't think I've caught one of these before, so that's really awesome, guys. New fish here at this spot. That's awesome. Let's get them in the bucket, guys. Please help me identify this fish in the comments below. All right, that's four. Oh my gosh, we're really picking up the pace here. All right, guys, now if you haven't recognized this spot yet, now you definitely will. Check it out. Right below me is a giant sewer. These are the sewers that we fished the first episode here. We fished this one and then the one across the street. We caught some really cool stuff out of it so i kind of want to lift it up and net around in there it's like really rusty oh that's not that bad oh yeah that's right oh that's pretty heavy all right we got the giant sewer grate open check it out oh it's so dark down there it's so mysterious and scary but there's definitely some fish in there so we'll give it a shot oh i'm right on my net oh i broke it that didn't last too long i kind of threw the sewer grate on my net but it still works right still can catch some fish oh my god okay I made it. <laughs> oh, it's so deep. Oh, I caught a fish. I actually caught a fish. Check this out. Yeah, oh, it's a mosquito fish. <laughs> I got all excited for nothing. Oh, oh my gosh. It is actually really deep in there. Oh, I caught a fish. It's a bigger fish this time. Look at that. That's a, that's a real fish right there. What is it? Look at that. It's a catfish. Oh, we got visitors. <laughs> 
Check that out. No way. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I just I saw you walking by. I'm like, there's no way this dude's legitimately in the sewer. <laughs> We're catching fish in here. Look at that. That's crazy. All right. Hilarious, bro. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Yeah, you, you too. too. Check that out, guys. We got a little catfish here. That's the first cool fish in the actual sewer, right? We're actually switching it up this time. We're netting in the sewer and we're fish trapping the creek. Usually it's the other way around, so this is fun. All right, we'll just toss them back. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I hit bottom that time. Let's see. Oh my god. No way. Is that the same fish or is that a different? I think it's the same fish. Is that the same catfish? I think it is. I feel so bad. I caught the same one. Go. Get out of here. Oh God. This is probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. We're in the sewer right now. Look at this. There's like gravel. <gasps> what is that? Look, there's a yellow fish. I've never seen something like that. All right, let's, let me get out of here real quick. This is a little scary. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, Look at this thing. He's so cool. He's so tiny. I've never seen one like that. All right, he's going in the bucket. That's awesome. I think we're going to cut our sewer fishing a little short there because if you look in there, it's pitch black. The sun's going down and it's a little sketchy being in the sewer. We're just going to call it there. We're going to come back in a full day, guys. We know this creek is loaded, but netting around does not do it justice. We got to have these fish traps, guys, to you know actually catch some crazy stuff. So full day, 24-hour fish trap starts now. We'll see you guys there. All right, you guys, it has been a full 24 hours. We're back here the next day. We're ready to check our traps. Right off the bat, guys, we can see the Helen's trap actually moved and there are no more hot dogs left. So that's really exciting. Check it out. You can see it's definitely moved a lot. She had it a lot shallower and we can't see any of like the 20 hot dogs that she had in there. So whatever went in there was hungry and they ate all of the bait. So it could be big. I don't see anything visually, which is really weird. But Helen, go ahead and pull up the trap and we'll see what you got. Come on, Arrow. Arowana! <laughs> you still hoping for the arowana? I don't see any. Oh, there is some hot dogs in there still. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, there's a big fish in there, Helen. <gasps> is that an Oscar? I think you got an Oscar. It's like in the back. Here, let's pull it up. Yeah, that is an Oscar. What the heck is that? Oh my God. Is that a crawfish? What the heck? Is that really a craw? I don't know what that is. Yeah, you got some cichlids in there. Whoa, he just jumped. It's like a big shrimp or something. <laughs> It's massive. Yeah, I didn't know there was shrimp in here. You guys, Helen just caught something really crazy looking. I don't know what that is. Let's fill up the bucket to put them in. All right. Oh my gosh, the Oscar's going crazy. That's a big Oscar. I don't even want to touch this thing. It's like an alien. It literally looks like an alien, guys. If that's a crawfish, that's like a world record size crawfish. Let me try to get this Oscar out real quick. Now, it doesn't look like you caught too many fish, but you did get a nice little Oscar there. You were going for Big Mama. Is that Big Mama? It's like a medium mama. Medium mama. That's cool though. We'll keep him. Oscar Army, definitely. We got a little tilapia right here. We'll throw him back. Hey, it's my fish. Oh, you wanted to keep him? Yeah, I earned him. <laughs> Look at this. You got some apple snails too. All right, a bunch of apple snails. But I think the main thing, the craziest thing that you caught is this. I mean, what the heck is that? I'm scared to touch it. Do you want to touch him? No. <laughs> I'm going to try and pick him up. Look at this thing. Whoa. Ah! Oh my God. That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on out, buddy. Oh my God. What? This is a literal monster. Ah! Get in the bucket. Ew. He's massive. He's bigger than the Oscar. Is that actually a crawfish? I can't tell. It looks more like a shrimp. Oh my gosh. Look at the top. Ah! Look at the top of his head. It's like pointy and razor sharp. Oh my God. I, I've never seen this before in my whole life. It looks like... Ah! But it looks like that is about it. You can see the hot dogs are like torn up. Something was eating them. It was probably that weird shrimp thing. I think I won. It's only two, but one's big and one's weird. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but we're gonna walk down to my trap right now, pick it up, see what all we got in that one. But this is definitely a good start. Nice little Oscar and like a mysterious alien creature. Look at all those fish right there. I don't know what those are. But guys, we made it to the tunnel with my fish trap. I got a knife here to cut the zip tie, holding the gate open so we can get these fish out if we dig anything. Check it out. I see the fish trap. Yeah, it actually didn't move at all. I think I'm gonna win this. Really? I'm ready for an alligator attack. Any gators in here, back off. It actually didn't move at all. I really hope we got something. Hello. Oh, no way. Helen, I got a lot of fish in here. Look at this. Ah! I feel a lot of fish, Helen. You're in big trouble. All right? I actually hear them splashing around in there. Okay, we got a knife. We're gonna cut the zip tie. <gasps> what is that? There's a lot of fish, actually. Okay, there we go. Trap is open. Oh yeah, check this out. Right off the boat. Oh my God! Okay, there's a lot of fish. We gotta go quick. Orange crawfish, convict cichlid, white molly. I'm gonna try and dump them all in. Oh, there's so many fish in there. Ew, that water's disgusting. All right, we got a lot in there. There's a lot more though. Oh my God! 
That's a green terror and a massive. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. That's a pink convict right there. Holy crap. I think I beat you, honest. Definitely in numbers. Look at that though. A Garami, like we caught last time. My encyclid. Oh, we got a few more in here. Check this out. This is crazy. So many fish. All right, these are normal ones. We'll throw them back. Oh, another orange crawfish. I see him. I got him. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. Look at the claws on that thing. Now, the worst thing about this trap, the reason we don't use it a lot, is it's so hard to get the fish back out. As you can tell, I'm struggling a lot here. Come on, I know something else is in there. Oh, what is this? A little baby catfish and another tilapia. Throw them back. Another green tear. Check this out. Another little tiny green tear. That's really cool. We'll throw him in the bucket. Oh, <gasps> Helen, I think I just won right here with this fish. Check this out. No way. We just caught one of these. It's a little baby though. Oh my God, it's a little baby Flaco. I forgot what these are called. You guys said, I think it was like watermelon something. We caught a massive one in the sewer not too long ago. It was like this big. And now we've just caught a little baby. I think that's what that is. Oh my gosh, they look so awesome. All right, I think I might have just taken the W there with that fish. Comment down below who you think won, guys. I think that's it for my fish trap. We got a lot of stuff. I had to dump it into the bucket. So we're gonna go through it right now, see if we missed anything. Oh my gosh, look at that. Two crawfish, the really cool Playco, a massive pink convict cichlid. Hello. Whoa, what is that? What is in my hand right now? What? Oh, Jesus. It's a catfish. I've never seen one like that. What the heck is going on? I didn't know we caught that. That must have just came into the bucket when we just dumped everything in. He's almost like see-through too. You can see his skeleton almost. Giant whiskers. That's really awesome. All right. We got so many fish in the bucket. We got Helen's catches. We're going to head home now, sort through them, put them in our ponds and tanks. This tunnel is freaking loaded with fish. We caught so many awesome stuff. The orange crawfish, the really cool Playco, pink convict, the weird catfish. Definitely have to come back and explore more of this tunnel. But for now, we're going to head home and get them into their new homes. Here we go, guys. All right, guys, we've made it back to my house. We got two buckets full of keepers. And we're here at the Oscar Army. Check it out. Now, the water is a little weird because as you can see, there's like a million mangoes because this tree up here just keeps dropping. Them. We got another addition that Helen caught. Helen, what are you gonna name him? Um, Robert. Robert, that's me. Yeah. All right. Robert is a really amazing name, and this is one good looking fish. So, all right, buddy, go be with your friends. Oh, oh, they like them. Yeah, look at them. They're meeting them. All right, another Oscar to the Oscar Army. Now we have this thing. I'm really not sure where we're gonna put this. Should we put them with the other crawfish, maybe? Yeah, crawfish jungle gem. Yeah, I mean, that kind of looks like a crawfish. All right, we'll put them in there. Comment down below if you know what it is. Look how long the antennas are. It, they're literally like 12 inches long. That's insane. All right, there he goes into the crawfish jungle gym. All right, and then we got these two from the fish trap as well. Beautiful little colorful crawfish. We're gonna add them as well. The one we caught yesterday, we added in here off camera. But now guys, we have a lot more fish. We're gonna go to the mystery pond and add some in there. Check this out, guys. We got a bucket here full of fish. This is my favorite part of every video is putting fish into here. I don't know what it is, but I always just love chucking random things in here. Let's go. We got this weird catfish here. Not sure what it is, but it's really cool looking. There he goes. We got a white molly right here and a blue garami. There they go. All right, we got two green tears and a convict cichlid. There they go. Ooh, look at this one. That's a gold garami. Told you guys there was garamis there. That's a gold one. Beautiful. There he goes. All right, check this out, guys. Now we got this massive pink convict cichlid. We're going to add into the Mata Mata Turtle Pond. There he goes. Hopefully it'll breed in here with the other convicts and create some really cool, colorful babies. Last thing we're going to add is this little baby Placo to the Tiki Hut tank. This thing is really cool. All right, here we go. We're going to add him to the Tiki Hut tank. My mom's not here to witness it, but I think she'll love him. There he goes. Oh, he's so cool. That's really awesome. We just caught that massive one out of the sewer and now we caught a baby. I really like those Playcos. Well guys, that was insane. I'm really happy we finally went back to that spot. If you want to see a part three there, go down there and let me know. Fish trap 1v1, comment who you think won. Helen did catch that really weird alien thing. Go down there, leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.